What is up, guys? Flooding Mon 14. Uh, starting with the turn count on this one, uh, I guess I can show you guys kind of my, uh, my board or whatever. Whoops. Yep, yeah, got Twin Hit of Thunder Dragon. I think I got two Aqua Dragons up. Yeah. And a Furious Sea King right there. As well as Kage. Kage Ningen right there. So, but yeah. Anyway, I think, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure when I check this one, uh, you can do a, uh, a reincarnation if I'm right. So, oh, Aqua Dragon's been promoted. Furious Sea King promoted. Ooh, good, good, good. Alright, I think uh, Furious Sea King is one of my deck leaders, so that's good. On one of my decks. Uh, Bear Trap, I guess we'll go for three in a row. I think we got plenty of cards from Rex already. Uh, unless he played Mammoth Graveyard, did he? Uh, no, I don't see it, okay. Oh, I missed. Okay, okay, we'll just get through. Alright, yeah, so uh, we do have a reincarnation available, so uh, yeah, I think I'll just kind of save here and, uh, eh, you know, we'll reset a couple times. Hopefully we get something where there's uh, plenty of cards I'm still looking for, but uh, yeah, hopefully we get something pretty good here. Okay. Alright. Alright, another thing I did was, uh, yeah, I, I definitely, uh, you know, to start this, uh, it's been a little while since I recorded, so to start this recording session, I actually, uh, yeah, I actually made sure and, uh, caught up on something I probably should have been doing for a while, but I transferred my, uh, you know, because I have multiple memory cards, so I made sure and transferred, this one had the most wins, so I'm just assuming this is the right memory card, because it had, like, 123 wins or something, but, uh, ooh. That's, we're probably going to keep this one. Check this card out, guys. Probably one of the best, I would say this is probably one of the best monsters in the game. And, uh, yeah, check it out. Eye Armor, I'm very glad we got this card. Yes, 16 deck cost and uh, 600 attack, 500 defense. Well, this card's flip face up. Adopts the attack and defense of the monster with the highest attack power on the field. That is such a good ability, man. That's like one of the best, yeah, that's like, yeah, so, let that be a lesson to you, man. I mean, like, uh, you might think, you know, in this game, oh, you know, 18 deck costs, pretty weak, not even worth it. No, dude, like, there are, there are some cards in this game with low, low, low deck costs like this that are just so, so good. I'm definitely glad I got this one. Um, now, will I put it in this deck? Uh, you know what? Sure. Um... For now, let's just take out a uh, let's take out a Aki Heron and throw this in. You know, I'll probably mess with it a little more between episodes, but uh, yeah, that that is such a good card, very good card, and I hope we get to show it off. You know, this episode, very good, very good. All right, so let's definitely save to that. Uh, yeah, but like my other memory card, it had like, uh, only like, uh, I think like 94 wins or something. I was just like, oh man. <laughs> uh, anyway, we're gonna go down here to Bones. But, uh, yeah, so I was just like, yeah, I definitely need to, uh, use the other one for sure. <laughs> but, uh, before I started, I went ahead and, uh, transferred, you know, I went ahead and deleted the save file on that memory card. And then I transferred, uh, I copied the file over from this one. So, ooh, man, we got a really good fusion to start this one. Uh, let's just move up the end of the turn. We also got Aqua Dragon, which is pretty good to start, honestly. So I, I may just send Aqua Dragon in. We'll go for a pretty quick win here. Because uh, I'm, I'm just assuming this is a monster. Uh, yeah, let's go with Aqua Dragon. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, any abilities for Aqua Dragon since we leveled up? So I think it already, it may have already had that ability. I don't remember. But uh, anyway, uh, Yoranzo, yeah. See you, Yoranzo. All right. And uh, yeah, let's uh, take a little drink break here. As we watch the battle. All right. It feels good, though, to start the recording session. So, uh, yeah, that's good. Makes me feel like the, uh, <clears throat> the turn count duels are worth it, you know? <laughs> For sure. 
uh, also before I started this recording session, I did check, uh, like, um, yeah, I checked, uh, the deck leader abilities of, like, uh, um, some other people in front of us who are ahead of us as far as deck leader, and, uh, I think we only need to, I'm pretty sure we only need to get up one more level with, uh, Maiden of the Aqua, and we can face a new opponent, actually, so that's good, that's good. We unlock two new opponents with Colonel, as you remember, but, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, if we, uh, excuse me, if we break up again, uh, yeah, we can face another new opponent, so that's pretty cool. Ooh, Kage Ningen. Um, I like Kage Ningen. So, let's tell you what, um, I could either fuse for a Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon, or, no, 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 I like this play better. Let's, uh, move forward, and let's, uh, let's throw Kage Ningen in here. And, uh, just see what this monster is. What remains? Okay. Yeah, the, the main reason I did that is because, um, uh, Necromancer does have some, um, some zombies that are, that have pretty good effects, honestly. You know, kind of like I was just talking about with Eye Armor. Uh, one particular one you may want to watch out for. Oh, and not only this, because it is three stars, but also, um, he has, uh, ooh, what it's called actually but uh i think it's fiend's hand yeah yeah maybe it's fiend's hand um but uh, one of the zombies are like really really low level like only two stars and it basically it's kind of like a zombie man eater bug effect that they gave it in this game to where like if you destroy it it destroys you so that's the main reason i went with the kage Ningen right there you know it's just to make sure you know everything's good you know Make sure I didn't, you know, waste Twin Headed Thunder Dragon for nothing, or make sure I didn't waste, uh, uh, you know, uh, Aqua Dragon, so. Uh, but anyway, we know the coast is clear now, so let's go. Hydro, first stream of destruction time. <laughs> Alright, pretty good start to this recording session, man. A couple of rank ups, got eye armor, which I know I'm gonna, I'm gonna love having that in this game. In fact, it may be a better fit with uh, the the uh, the because I'm pretty sure one of these decks I'm I'm starting to work on like pumpkin and stuff, so maybe a better fit for that deck to be quite honest. But uh, eh, you know, if I want to switch it out between episodes, I will. So. I miss playing this, man. It's been a while since I recorded anything, but yeah, man. Here in Aqua Dragon, oh, it's always a good feeling. All right. All right, and we'll uh, just end the turn there. And we're spreading a lot of water up here in this wasteland area. Okay. I guess I he's going to move that toward my leader. Yeah, okay. Uh, this one, you know, I know what I just said about Fiend's Hand, but, you know, this guy's sitting in the water. You know, this one I will just, you know, THT, or I'll try to anyway. In fact, depending how, uh, how low of an attack monster this is, this could be a game ender right here. So, oh, it's Blue-Eyed Silver Zombie. Hmm, okay. Well, I don't think that ends the game, but he is going to take a lot of damage. Uh, have we ever seen Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon attack? I'm pretty sure we have, but, uh, uh, you know... If you have seizures or anything, a little warning right here. You know, you may want to skip a couple minutes ahead. So, this attack does have quite a weird array of light in this game, yeah. Super Thunder Wave. Man, that is an epic looking attack, though, I, I do have to say. <laughs> <laughs> what was Blue Eyes Silver Zombie doing right there? It's almost like it was trying to hang on. Like, like you know when you're climbing a wall and you're trying to grip it? Like, you lose your grip and it just kind of... Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, man, that's great. I love this game, man. That, that was great. Oh, Spellbound. Okay, yeah, so he's down to 400 life points. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, the AI may be dumb and attack Aqua Dragon, so, and that'll just outright in the duel. Or he could just play Dark Hole right here. You know, that's... Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, let's see what we get here. Uh... Not much. Um... Hmm... 
tell you what, let's just uh, go with Psychic Kappa right here. Um, and we'll end the turn. Yeah, I'm not going to move Aqua Dragon because, yeah, basically I'm just hoping he kind of attacks in the Psychic Kappa. And then, uh, oh. Oh, or, or that. That works too. That works too. Alright, GG, Necromancer, GG. Alright, good thing we destroyed that other wood remains. Yeah, by the way, do watch out, like, if he's got multiple monsters on the field. Because as you see, he does have multiple copies of, like, wood remains. He also has some other, uh, cards kind of, that work similarly, that'll boost each other, you know. But if he has, like, two or three wood remains on the field at the same time, that can be really dangerous. Uh, they can easily, you know, and he's using the power ups too. They can easily get over like uh, 3,000. So, oh, high job. You know, along with his leader ability and stuff. I think he has other monsters that work similarly. You know, that boost monsters of the same name. Like, uh, I think that's how Skull Servant works in this game. Um, so, yeah, just, just a heads up, you know. As far as face a necromancer. So, alright, but that'll do it. Alright, and there are quite a few good zombie cards I'd like to win from him, so uh, let's see what I'll do in the graveyard. I think I need, still need like a dark energy. Uh, I don't remember if he used any power ups this duel. Huh, that's weird. Yeah, I actually don't see Violet Crystal or Dark Energy. Huh. I guess we'll just aim for Blue-Eyed Silver Zombie, though. That way we can change stuff to zombies. So, uh, missed it. Uh, got it. Okay. Let's just aim for Pumpkin, I guess. Uh, got it. Okay. Well done. I guess I should aim for Wood Remains, because there was two in the slots, right? Oh, oh well. I, I, I think I wanted Blue-Eyed Silver Zombie, though, for sure. Okay, and what time are we at? Okay, looks like we're about 16 minutes or so. Um, let's switch decks. Um, okay. Yeah, that is my second silver zombie. Okay. Yeah, let's switch decks. Let's, uh, this is the pumpkin deck, right? Okay, let's just go ahead and take out something for Silver Zombie. Um, it doesn't really matter. Like, I, I'll probably mess with this between episodes, but I'll just change this out real quick, just for the sake of time. So I took out Witch, so. And I took uh, Akihiron out of the C deck, right, right. But yeah, I'll probably, you know, mess with them in between episodes just for. Yeah, just so we get a little more dueling going on, so... Okay, and you're Lieutenant Colonel, so we can face, uh... Eh, we can take on Rex again. Yeah. Definitely pretty easy with the zombie deck, too, because there's already a lot of wasteland. So... Mmm. Hmm. Mmm. Had something between my teeth there. <laughs> that felt weird. Uh, what do we got here? Man, I don't know. Not a bad hand. Uh, I guess we can dump Wasteland. <laughs> don't really need it on this field, but uh, there we go. Uh, yeah, this card's pretty good. Can spell bind for three turns when it's uh, flipped in the back. Not too bad. Power up. Oh, no, no. Just dumping cards. It's okay, Rex. I do that sometimes, too. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, let me draw here. Dark Magician, Dark Magic Attack, sweet. Well, I guess we'll just set this right here. And, uh, yeah, we're just gonna chill right here. Turn the end though. All right, next turn, Dark Magician. <laughs> Did he just not summon? What the? That's weird. Maybe he was, like, low on summoning power. Uh, well, anyway. Dark Magician. All right, we're just gonna move forward and, uh, end the turn. Oh, there he is. Okay. Yeah, that, was, that was weird. <laughs> Especially since he dumped, like, all those cards. I'm just like, wow, how could you not, uh, you know, draw and be able to play something, bruh? Yeah, that's pretty weird. Uh, another Wasteland. Okay. Um, 
Um, well, in case I do want to change stuff to zombies, what's that, Durabi? Okay. In case I do want to change stuff, let's just dump that. Get a uh, silver zombie out. Blue eyes out. Alright, next turn we might see Dark Magic Attack. If the card on the left, his left, is a dino. Alright, is it? Ooh, nice. Alright. Let's do it. Practical versus Dark Magician. <laughs> you get this, Dark Magician. Sure. Dark Magician. Go. Oh. Dark Magic Attack. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. This game's so cool. Alright. Looks like you wasted your practical there, Rex. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Interestingly enough, if I change everything to zombies, Dark Magician can move two squares here. Um, let's see what I draw. Tell you what, let's, uh, we got Job Change Mirror 2. Let's move Dark Magician. Um, I'm actually gonna move this back, and next turn we can feast for Summon Skull, and then I think I'll change everything to zombies. Uh, for now, let's just throw down Dancing Elf. It's only one star, so just get that out of our hand in the turn. Retreating. Oh, that's not gonna work because, uh, yeah, check this out, Rex. I'm going to. Oh, nice, nice. Let's do this. So, job change mirror plus treasure chest equals summon skull. Alright, now we'll switch everything to zombies. And now we can move two spaces. Go, summon skull. A lightning strike. <laughs> nice. Showing off some night some epic monsters today. Some Yugi some Yugi cards. time in this episode, I think I'll definitely uh, give uh, Darkness Ruler uh, a couple more tries than I than I was planning on in this LP because uh, honestly, um, if we change out Wasteland for for uh, Yami in this deck, I think that would help this deck quite a lot. Oh, a magic card, huh? What was that? Oh, I was a power up. Okay, <laughs> I see. Uh, let's. Do I have anything to fuse? Not really. It's in the turn. Oh wait, and no, I already summoned this turn. Yeah, I already played some of the skulls, so... Oh, oh, we just... Just in the turn, huh? Um... Well, honestly, if he's not summoning, we might be able to get a turn count win against him. Ooh! Ooh, check this out. So... Now that everything's changed to zombies, and we have this Mammoth Graveyard, check this out. Mammoth Graveyard and a zombie. Man, great Mammoth of Gold Fine, man. Pretty good card. <laughs> and with the two power ups, it's at 3,500 attack. Yeah, yeah, Bones actually fused for this in his uh, duel versus. Uh... You know what? I'm actually not gonna finish him off here yet. Uh, yeah, he fused for this card in his duel versus, uh, Yami Bakura. He fused for, uh, Great Mammoth. It, 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 it was really weird in that, uh, episode. Because I think he, uh... Yeah, he fused with, like, Dragon Zombie and, 
Oh yeah, he's not summoning. Well, guys, um, I'm gonna see if he, you know, doesn't summon, if he keeps not summoning. Um, if he doesn't, then, um, it's probably gonna be the end of this episode, um, because I'll just, uh, yeah, let, let's just see what he does in the next few turns, because if, if he doesn't, I'll just get a turn count win on him, uh, you know, in between episodes here, so let's see. Still not summoning, okay, this is gonna be a good sign here, alright. And then we'll just move here, block him in. Uh, okay, what you gonna do, Rex? You gonna do anything? No, he's not. Okay. Uh, let's just double check here. Uh, looks like we're good. Looks like we're good to do a little turn count. Okay, okay, yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'll do, guys. I'll just kind of cut it here. And then, uh, this should help, uh, both Dark Magician and Summon Skull. Uh, as well as this card, you know, probably gonna rank up, honestly, since I haven't really ranked them up yet. Uh, so yeah, guys, that's gonna do it for this episode here. Ooh, <laughs> and, uh, wow, yeah, we can play another, uh, yeah, we can play another Great Mammoth, too, so that's pretty good. Okay, guys, but, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, uh, finish this duel, you know, in between episodes and uh get the turn count win since he's not summoning anything but uh yeah thank you guys for joining me i appreciate you and i'll see you guys all the next time on Yu-Gi-Oh! duels of the roses all right have a good day